Join us on today's lesson and activity that is all about glowing eyes. Why do some animals' eyes appear to glow in the dark? Have you ever been out for a walk at night and had a feeling that something was watching you? You turn your flashlight on only to see a pair of glowing eyes staring at you and you wonder what it could be. Follow along with this lesson and activity to find out. Why do my cat's eyes glow in the dark? A cat's eye is different than a human's eye. They are able to see better in the dark because light reflects off a part of their eye called the tapetum lucidum, Latin meaning bright tapestry. Humans lack a tapetum lucidum. This reflective surface that is behind the cat's retina acts like a mirror and reflects back any light that passed through the retina. When some of the reflected light shines back out, the cat's eyes appear to be glowing. In this diagram of the cat's eye, we can see light that is entering in the eye gets reflected back off of the tapetum lucidum. So why do some eyes glow a different color? Most cats have a tapetum lucidum that reflects a light that appears to be either yellow or green. The color of the eye shine depends on the tapetum lucidum is made of. Cats have varying amounts of riboflavin and zinc, causing them to have either a green or yellow eye shine. Sheep's tapetum lucidum is made up of collagen, which causes a blue-green eye shine. Another example of varying colors can be found in fish. Their tapetum lucidum uses guanine and creates a white eye shine. Here you can see with my cats that Ollie has yellow eyes and tends to have a yellow eye shine. And this is Minx. He is a Siamese cat and as most Siamese cats have blue eyes, he creates a red eye shine. Lesson activity, how to make a cat eye model. Materials needed to make your own cat eye model. A small Dixie cup, black construction paper, aluminum foil, the shiny side, invisible tape, flashlights, scissors, pencil, and or markers. To make our cat eye, begin by using a pencil and trace the top of the small Dixie cup on a black piece of construction paper. Then cut out the drawn circle, making sure that the circle is slightly larger than the top of the cup. Next, fold the circle in half and cut an oblong opening in the center. This will represent the pupil of the cat's eye. Next, trace the bottom of the cup on the aluminum foil and cut out. Next, roll up a piece of tape and put it on the back of the aluminum foil circle and tape the aluminum foil circle to the bottom inside of the cup. After, tape the black circle with the slit pupil over the opening of the cup. Now, turn off the lights and shine the flashlight into the pupil and watch as the tapetum lucidum reflects the light back. So today we're going to be making these cat eyes and to do this we'll need a few supplies. So we're going to need some aluminum foil, some black construction paper, a small plastic cup, scissors, a flashlight, a pencil, and some tape. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to trace the top part of your cup on your black construction paper. And when you do this, you want to make sure that you cut to the outside of your circle, just so that it is slightly larger than the actual width of the cup. Once you have cut out your circle, you're going to need to make your cat's eye. And to do this, you can fold your circle in half and you're just going to make a small oval type shape cut out of your eye. 
so that we have our cat's eye. The next step will be to trace out the bottom part of your cup on your aluminum foil. I like to use the shinier side just so that there's more of a reflective glow when we put the light to it. And this is going to represent the tapetum lucidum. And we'll cut this out. Now this one you can cut on the line is fine. We don't have to worry about it being larger because it's actually going to go to the inside of our cup. And we're going to use some tape. And we're going to fold our tape place it to the back side and then we will insert this into the bottom of our cup and just secure it in place at the bottom of your cup. Now the next step is pretty simple. You just need to tape your eye to your cup. Um, you can simply just take some tape and stick it to the outside of your eye if you like. And um, this is one way. Or if you want to get a little bit fancier, you can do like I did on this cup. And I just tuck some tape to the inside of my cup and I taped it down that way so we don't see any of the tape. Now that at this point, you can leave it like this. Or if the children want, they can decorate the outside of their cups too. Now to test the theory of the tapetum lucidum and to see how it works, we take our flashlight and we shine it into our cup. And by doing this, we can see the reflective glow. And this would work a lot better in darker light conditions. So have fun making your cat eyes. Let's find out just what those glowing eyes could be from that were lurking and watching us from the shadows on that dark night. Kittens, cute fluffy kittens. So the next time you see some glowing eyes at night, you now know that they are nothing more than just a pair of animal eyes reflecting back the light. Thank you for joining me on today's lesson and activity of glowing eyes. If you have any questions about this lesson or the activity, please contact Maureen Ring, 4-H Animal Science Educator, at Cornell Cooperative Extension of St. Lawrence County and 4-H.